Our School Africa is all about introducing Apple technology to schools to enrich the learning experience for the learners, but also to improve and stimulate improved teaching practices amongst the teaching body. Uh, ultimately, what we aim to improve is for, to prepare learners for the workplace where technology is the main tool. But it goes beyond that. Technology also provides a rich, stimulating environment and greater opportunities for learners to manage their own learning and, and to interact with learning materials. For the little wisey learners, it's exposed them to a new way of learning because now they have the opportunity of exploring their curriculum subjects and creating content using multimedia. Uh, I think they enjoy the gratification of seeing their content produced and they enjoy controlling the outcomes. So if it's a subject that requires research or requires them to work through specific issues and concepts, they can explore that while actually creating on the MacBooks. The impact that the, the IT is making to our learners is because uh, it, it, our learners are, are now exposed to the IT and they are using uh, the MacBooks, they are in the MacBooks, they are using the garage band and they are using the, the iPods and the Nanos and uh, they, they are very excited of using those, those gadgets and they are showing an interest every time when they are uh, doing their work. Sometimes they are typing their work, they, want to, they get to, to the internet where they are doing their researches through the IT uh, gadgets. Well, I've learned many things about MacBooks. First, I was computer illiterate, knew nothing about technology, iPads, MacBooks. But the moment I became part of a press team, that's when I started to, be, to know more about computers and iPads. Having press team in our school means a lot to us because we're able to explore in, in MacBooks and in cameras and to be able to use the technological objects as we are taught and also to to know more and gain experience from the technological objects that were given by the peer mode. Most of the time when, 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 when learners are, are, are given a work to do uh, with these gadgets, uh, as educators we are monitoring them, we, we are sitting with them because some, somewhere, somehow they need help. They find help from us as educators, we are next to them and they, they know who they, they consult every time when they are doing uh, this. And then um, when they are taking them from, from the office, they usually sign for, 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 for the gadget that they are taking. They make sure that they are responsible for everything that they are taking from the office. Initially, the, the project started with Piermont sponsoring Mac Labs into seven high schools. And then over time, it became evident that in order to truly impact the learning potential of children in high school, we had to filter down to the primary schools, to the, to the sort of core fundamental stages of learning. And Piermont has since sponsored iPad Labs into 21 primary schools. And again, iSchool Africa is working closely with Piermont in training up teachers to make sure that when they introduce the technology into the school, it is used for the benefit of the learners. So yes, the program is expanding and we hope it continues to expand. We, we see the value and we are, we are convinced that the teachers and learners who, who get to work with the technology are experiencing the benefits of it. And obviously we'd like to impact as, as many schools as possible.